സിനിമ ഷൂട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഫോമാറ്റ് പലതുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ ഫിലിമിൽ ഷൂട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഡിജിറ്റലി ഷൂട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഫിലിമിൽ ഷൂട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന സിനിമ ഈ ക്യൂബ് സിസ്റ്റത്തിലേക്ക് എത്തുന്ന ആ പ്രോസസ്സിനെ കുറിച്ച് നമുക്ക് കൂടുതൽ കാര്യങ്ങൾ അറിയാം മോസ്റ്റ് ദ ഫിലിം ഈവൻ നൗ ആർ ബീങ് ഷോർട്ട് ഇൻ ഫിലിം ഓക്കെ ദ ബിഗ് ചേഞ്ച് ടുഡേ ഈസ് ഓൾ ദ ഫിലിംസ് ദ ബീങ് ഷോർട്ട് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ നെഗറ്റീവ് ഇസ് ടേക്കൺ ടു ദ ലാബ് it goes through a scanning process after the scanning process it is taken into a system for color correction that process is actually called the di process where the color correction is actually happening for the film in digital it is not happening in analog the color correction is happening in digital so that is what you see here from this original negative that they get they then scan this and this goes into this machine now this machine can do both the color correction as well as the telecine whichever it is depending on the source of material that i want the moment it goes into this spirit 4k machine in fact this is happening at the post production level this is not happening here this is happening at the post production level where the color correction is done for the movie and after the color correction is done either they can give us this the scanned final files itself that will come in this chain this di files this can come directly to our mastering system or they can take an output in the form of a hd tape which is called a d5 tape so again it is just a digital source that comes to our machine again okay alternatively if it is a positive print here instead of the negative on scanning instead of color correction it, the positive print can will always get scanned come as a d5 tape and come for digitization directly it is only if the color correction happens here that this facility will have what is called the dpx files those dpx files will come directly to us for the mastering process starting uh, earlier i had mentioned to you that uh, uncompressed file is roughly 2 to 2 and a half terabytes of data that kind of data like i said cannot be managed so it has to go through the process of mastering the discrete steps involved as you can see here the first one is called encoding the encoding is where they actually compress the file using a certain format then it has a layer of encryption which is for security then you have what is called a package wrapped on top of it the package has two objectives one is to provide your interoperability and the second is to define the play out section from the digital file that is available as the encrypted encoded master which is inside your system prior to just starting encoding what they will do is most of the grading that is happening here happens on a small monitor and typically it happens with the perspective of film output in mind so from this system they are going to take out what is called the di negative and then it goes for a printing of the positive no so so most of them who are grading here will normally grade for film output whereas the digital color space is totally different from the analog color space well, what really happens is once the source comes here initially we will do a few test encodes varying the contrast gamma levels etc to match the output with uh, digital output with what the cinematographer actually wanted mm. so the, typically the cinematographer is involved in the process where we are finalizing what is called the look up table there is a mathematical transformation of the color space that is done during just before the encoding process for settings mm. and once that is cleared by the cinematographer as saying yes it matches what i wanted then the encode process actually commences and in the encoding process like, like there are various formats that we went through earlier it reduces the file size and then we do the encryption and the packaging and the packaging also takes care of what the sensor gives us cuts so what we are able to do in digital which you cannot do in film in film for example the sensor cuts execution cannot be really monitored right so whereas here i can send the full file of the movie at the theater but when i'm actually issuing the license to play 
at that time i will define the play out sections of the content based on the sensor cuts so it will automatically not play the sensor cuts sensor cuts so all i need to do is to send a small file to the theater and that will automatically ensure that the cut has been executed on the system so that's what we do here now after the picture has come obviously there is sound which is getting mixed in many of the other places uh, i think from here it's a different uh, studio that might be doing the 5.1 mix from there the files come to us then we sync the audio with the video and then the master is actually generated so the first one that comes out is the the final product that comes out of the system is called the digital cinema package uh, one of the big difference now all of this is done using this product called cube master cube master again just like the cube play out system that is there in the theater cube master again is a product of real image development of real image because of the time pressure that we always face during release we had developed a software based approach that integrates all of this into one step so i just get the ingest here and i can get out the dcp so that's the biggest advantage that cube master has over any other system any other mastering system in the world i said they were